Hi everyone, let us discuss this concept rectifiable curve. Okay. In a simple language, we can say if length of a curve is finite, we say it is a rectifiable curve. So let me mention rectifiable curve is nothing but a curve, a curve with finite length, with finite length. So now the question is if the given curve is rectifiable, that means having a finite length, how to find its length? Let us see. So if if we have a curve x, which is defined on close interval a, b, is a rectifiable curve, it is a rectifiable curve, then its length is calculated in this way, L of x, okay, we write in this way, L of x is equal to integration a to b, we take here a, b, okay, as the limits of this integration mod x dash of t dt. So using this formula, we find the length of curves x, okay. Uh, let us discuss one example so you can easily understand this concept. So consider this example. Here we have this curve x of t which is defined in this way and we have to find its length. Let us use this formula to find its length, okay. So let us see, L of x is equal to integration, right. So t belongs to close interval 0 to 2 pi. So the limits of that integral will be 0 to 2 pi definition says mod x dash of t dt. So this is equal to integration 0 to 2 pi mod x dash. That means we have to find its derivative. 4 is constant, no need to worry about it. e raised to i is there. You know that derivative of exponential function will be same. So I should write e raised to i t. But after that, we have to take derivative of that i t, which will be i. Okay and dt will be as it is. So let me write here, okay. So this is equal to integration 0 to 2 pi. You know that when we have a product of any two complex numbers or function, we can take separate separate mod, okay. So here we can take separate separate mod, mod 4, mod i and mod e raised to i t dt. You know that 4 is a constant. If you apply mod, you will have the same number, getting same number. It's a positive real number. So that's why mod 4 will be 4, it's constant, we can take it outside, integration 0 to 2 pi, mod i means you know 0 plus i, right, e raised to i t can be expressed as cos t plus i sin t, okay, and dt I am writing here, so this is equal to 4 integration 0 to 2 pi, I hope you are familiar with the definition of mod, mod x plus i y is equal to square root of x square plus y square, that means square root of square of real part, plus square of imaginary part. Let us follow the same definition here. So square root of square of 0 is 0. Imaginary part that means multiple of i which is 1. So its square will be 1. Let us follow the same definition here. Square of real part that means I should write cos square t plus square of imaginary part will be sin square t. I should write dt here. So this is equal to 4 integration 0 to 2 pi. See, uh, 0 plus 1, 1, right? Square root of 1 will be 1. And what will happen here? Cos square t plus sin square t. You know that it's a very standard formula. Its value is 1. Cos square theta plus sin square theta is always 1. So value of this one is also 1. Value of this square root is 1. This one is also 1. So you have dt only. Integration of dt is t, right? So t, let me write here 0 to 2 pi. First we put upper limit, then we put lower limit. So it will be 4, 2 pi minus 0. So it will be 8 pi. So this is a required answer. Okay. So in this way, we find the length of given curve. Make a screenshot of it. After that, we will discuss one more example. So now let us discuss this second example. So in this example, we have a curve x of t is equal to 1 plus i t. t belongs to close interval 0 comma 4, right? So we have to find its length. Let us follow the same definition. L of x is equal to integration a to b. So here t belongs to that close interval. So that's why limit of integration will be 0 to 4. Definition is mod x dash of t dt. So this is equal to integration 0 to 4. Okay. Mod x dash of t. It's a derivative. You know that 1 plus i is constant. I should write as it is 1 plus i. Derivative of t is 1. Right. So I should write here dt only. So this is equal to integration 0 to 4 we have, right? Okay. 
See, you know well how to find mod square root of square of real part plus square of imaginary part. So square root of real part is 1, its square will be 1 plus multiple of i is 1, so its square will be 1 dt. 1 plus 1, 2, so its value is root 2. It's constant, we can take it outside. Integration 0 to 4 dt. What is integration of dt? t obviously, so this is equal to root 2 t with limits 0 to 4. Let us put upper limit, lower limit. So we'll have 4 minus 0. So answer is 4 root 2. So this is the length of given curve. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.